This is a great drill for ball tracking and consistency. It's such a simple drill, you can do it anywhere at any time, but especially just before your games or batting practice. So here's the drill. Take a ball, in this case I'm using a tennis ball, and take a felt marker and write some fairly large numbers on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bounce the ball against the wall and catch it like that. And I'm trying to track it perfectly with my nose and chin. And I'm going to call out the last number I see just before it meets my hand. Eight. Two. Five. And I hold my nose on the position where I catch it for like 1,001 and 1,002, about two seconds, okay? So the, one of the most important things in this drill is when you call out the number, you're leaving your head there. If we watch Miguel Cabrera hit and some of the best hitters in baseball, they all track the ball in and then their head stays right there, rubs the cano, comes immediately to mine, and their head will stay there for a split second and then they'll run to first. So this drill can really accentuate that you bounce the ball, you catch it, you call the number, your nose and chin are right there, and you leave your head where you caught the ball. Four. This is a really good drill for a hitter because it allows you to track the ball all the way down to your hand because if you leave the last zone out, then you're, you're going to get the number that you see earlier rather than right in the hand. It also allows you to uh, keep your head clear during it because the numbers farther away from your hand are a lot easier to see. But if you let your, if you let your brain analyze and like think of that number, then it, you lose your focus when the ball is up close to your hand and then all the numbers are blurry in the last, uh, I guess you'd say the last zone, um, so you can't get a number at the, at the end. So any thinking at all as the ball comes out interferes with your ability? Yeah, so what I notice is a lot of the time I'd be getting my number out here and then I'd think of that number and then I wouldn't get a number down here because I'd be, that number would be in my head already. Um, but if you focus a lot on just seeing the number down here, which is focus on seeing the ball, I guess you'd say seeing the ball deep. You're seeing it right to your bat. You're seeing it right to your bat, you would get um, the number, the area you're supposed to get, I guess. Yeah. So I guess that would uh, be a similar idea to seeing a pitch out of the hand and um, automatically saying, this is gonna be a strike, this is gonna be a ball, where it could still have changes in movement at the end of the pitch that you wouldn't be able to see or um, notice as well as if you didn't make a decision, make a decision early. early. Yeah. 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 Another benefit of this drill is that it allows you to take all of your uh, attention and focus it directly on the ball instead of, in, instead of having other distractions. So since, since you're not in a uh, position where you have to think about anything else, you can just toss it right up against the wall and think of nothing but seeing the ball and seeing the numbers on the ball, where if this was a drill um, where you're doing uh, movement um, along with like a swing, then you'd have other things to focus on. So it allows you to really focus just on the vision of the ball. But especially seeing the ball really late. Yeah, for sure. To be sure. able to read the numbers because, just as it's entering because your Because you won't be moving, you're not moving as much as you would be in a swing. So it's really easy to just focus directly and um, easily move your head a little softer than you would be able to in a swing. I hope you enjoy the drill. Uh, give me some feedback if you get a chance. Love to hear from you always, but it's a game changer, so have fun with it.